Hi everyone, welcome back to the Data Guy, your go-to channel for mastering data engineering tools and concepts. If you are new here, I am Vishal and I create videos to help you build a strong foundation in data engineering. So in this hands-on tutorial, we will walk step by step through creating a simple pipeline that copies data from one location to another location using Azure Data Factory. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of how to set up ADF, create link services, data sets and configure copy activity to move data efficiently from one location to another location. So let's dive in. So uh, before we create our pipeline, we need a data source. So uh, in this case, we will upload a text file into an ADLS blob container. So for that, first we will go to storage accounts and then go to this one. I have created this one already. So here, just go to storage browser, blob container. We'll add a new container here. So let's name it uh, ADF container demo. Leave the other setting as it is. Click on create. So once the container is created, click on it. Here we'll add a directory name it input inside this input directory we will upload our text file ok so now our text file is here let's go to home page okay so now we have uploaded the text file into blob container now let's create a data factory first click on data factories so click on create select the resource group we will name it tdg factory leave the other setting as it is and just click on review create so uh, this will take couple of minutes to complete the deployment okay so the deployment is completed let's go to here is our data factory okay click on launch studio so you will be redirected here. First, uh, first, let's click on manage. So here, uh, so as I said in my last video, like uh, linked services are like much like connection strings, which lets you define connection information that's needed for ADF to connect to external resources. So first, we will create linked services. Click on new. We will select ADLS because our data is in there we will name it tdg link service and keep the authentication type as account key select azure subscription for me it's free trial and we'll select the storage account name where our block container is after that uh, leave the other setting as it is and we will first test the connection. If it is successful, then we will create it. So if the connection is successful, click on create. Okay. Now that our link service is created, let's next click on author. We will create a data sets. So data sets represent data structures within the data source. So basically, which simply points to or reference the data you want to use in your activities click on new data set so we will select ADLS here again we will select binary because we are working with the text file so we will limit input data set Select the link services which we have created 
and select the file path here. Click on OK. So the data set for the input is created. We will create another data set for the output. Again, for the output, we will select binary. So we will name it output data set. Select the link services and select our blob container. Select this one. So before that, let's see the, our container first so here you can see we are in the this uh, blob container and uh, here you can see that there is an output directory is present here so we will create so we will mention the output directory here and the file name click on ok ok so now that our input and output data set are created let's click on pipelines we will create a new pipeline here so again a pipeline is a logical grouping of activities that perform a task okay so now we will select one activity here copy data just drag and drop it so once drag and drop uh, let's click on this source so here uh, we will select our source data set which is nothing but input data set which we have just created and for the sync we will select our output data set okay now so that uh, we are ready with our source and sync data set we will validate it once the validation is completed so here uh, before running it you need to publish this copy activity so you, you have two options either publish it or you can you can just do debug run which uh, basically uh, perform the test run so let's click on this debug so even if you click on this debug so it will perform this copy activity so here you can see our activity it is queued okay so here it is saying it is succeeded let's check it we'll go to refresh so here you can see the output directory is created here inside our this blob container click on output so here you can see the file is there so what copy activity did here it has copied the data from that file to this file which is in this output directory here so basically this was the simple pipeline which we have just performed you can test it i will attach this file in the description also that's it you have just built the first data pipeline in azure data factory thanks for watching if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up subscribe to the data guy for more beginner friendly data engineering content and share this video with someone who is just starting out have questions or ideas for future videos drop them in the comments below i would love to hear from you until next time happy coding